In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create multilingual slides or slides that show two languages at a time. Now, this is perfect for having a main language like English and then showing also um, lyrics in a alternate language like Spanish. Now, you can do any combination you like. So let's just go into how to set this up. So I have a song here, No Longer Slaves. I'm going to go into the editor and we'll look at how we have these slides set up. So we have a text box here for our English. English uh, lyrics and a text box for our Spanish lyrics. Now you'll see on the um, object settings that I've named this English and alternate. The names don't really matter, it just helps you know which text box is which. The most important thing is when we go to slide properties that we make sure that our layer order of English and Spanish or alternate, English and alternate or main and alternate, whatever you label it as, always is first and second. So whatever you uh, want your songs to be, always make sure that your one language is first and your secondary language is second in layer order. If this would get changed here, it's going to mess up how the templates work because templates identify the text boxes in layer order. It does not matter what the name is, it only matters what order it's in. So we're only caring about that our English is in the top box and our alternate is in the bottom box. It also doesn't matter where it's placed on the screen, so I could have my Spanish up here or my alternate up here, but as long as that alternate language is second in the layer order, that's the only thing that matters. So now let's look at some templates that I've created. So I'm going to go to these tutorial templates and we'll look at this template group. So again, we can style our text any way we want, but again, we need to make sure that our our English or main language is first and our alternate language is second in layer order. Now we could go down and we can see we have some different looks again, English text, alternate text, but now we can look at here we have our alternate language is actually on the top of the screen and our main language is on the bottom, but you'll see in the layer order over here that English is still on top in the layer order and our alternate language is still second in the layer order and that will make sure that our text works correctly. Then we'll look and see, uh, I've created one where we have our English text here on top and then our alternate language is actually a text box that I've pushed off screen. This makes it so we could have always our songs set up for dual languages, but let's say we only want to show one language, we can just show English or we can set it up so our alternate language is being shown and our English is being pushed off screen. Again, the order of the text objects in the stack over here, English is always first, alternate is always second. So now let's apply these and see what they look like. So I'm just gonna go in here and we'll apply this first template. You're gonna see that it's gone through and all of our Spanish has this cool white background and is in all caps and our English is up top with no white backgrounds, which makes it really easy to understand which language is which so we don't don't get lost while we're singing. So the same thing, we'll go through and apply some of these other templates and they're going to apply each time we can style them however we want. So now Spanish is um, in yellow and our English is in white and again we're split on top and bottom of the screen. But now let's look at that one where it reverses the order. So now we're going to put Spanish on top and English on the bottom. We have like a little line in the center of the screen that just helps show um, the difference kind of as a dividing line but it doesn't really matter that line doesn't have to be there. And again, we can go in and we can say, let's show no alternate text, English only. And now it's going to show English only. We can go in and we can apply another template that's um, only Spanish, no, um, no English. And so now that's going to just show just that one language. But we haven't deleted that alternate language. We're just shoving it off screen. So we can easily go back and apply this other template that has all of our um, English and Spanish text in there. And editing these templates or creating new ones is really easy. So we could say, let's, uh, you know, change some uh, line justification. So let's do left justified, right justified, maybe make our English in all caps and our Spanish or alternate language is uh, in italics and it's over there. And so now let's apply this one and see what it looks like now. So we can go in 
and we can see that it's going to left justify all of that text and uh, make it all caps and it's going to put our Spanish down in the bottom and uh, it's going to be right justified in lowercase so you can do anything that you want with these templates. Again, the main thing to know is that you have to make sure your objects are in order so that you always keep your main language on top and your secondary language underneath. Um, the couple things to know is that you can still use quick edit to edit these slides. So I could go in here and I can use quick edit to make any adjustments. The main thing though is you cannot use the reflow editor. If I go to view reflow editor, I'm only going to see the top text box. So I'm really only going to see my English. I will not be able to see Spanish. So unfortunately when you start using multilingual, uh, multilingual slides, you can't use the reflow editor. But you can can make multilingual slides look awesome, apply templates to them. Uh, just takes a little setup time in advance and then once it's all set up and ready to go for you, you can uh, change the look of these uh, to your heart's content. If you want to download any of these templates, they will be linked in the show notes of this video and you can find them at churchmediadrop.com.